Hi, so in this video, we will be discussing about the JavaScript statements. JavaScript programs. A computer program is a list of instructions no, to be executed by a computer. So, ang pagbasa sa program, dude, is from top to bottom and then from left to right. Okay? So, just like uh, our traditional, uh, the way of writing or reading of any language, no? Ano, uh, dili, the any language. Uh, English and Filipino language. From top to bottom and then left to right, no? Una is top, then left to right, the next line, left to right. So, that's how we read also the programming language. Kay naman buday language nga like Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, no di uh, ang handwritten is from right to left. Ay lang pagreading, no. So in programming, uh, from top, left to right, the next line until to the bottom. So that's how you read the or how the program execute. So JavaScript uh, statements are composed of values. Uh, values, this means the value, no? Kanang mga nakasulod sa double quote. Kung string, nakasulod siya sa double quote or single quote. Operators, uh, we have the... Um, there are many types of operators, no? Which will be discussed in uh, future videos. Operators, example, is plus, minus, may nana. Then expressions... Uh, keywords and comments. So, mula siyang JavaScript statements. So, every statements should be end by a semicolon. So, pasabot na end of the line na siya. For example, nagbasa siya din ni var a, kama na another na sa nung variable si, uy, kita siya o oh, semicolon. That means uh, end of the line or end of the statements. So, kay, pwede mo na to, for example, gas save ka o space, pwede rin mo na on. Okay? So, that will still uh, run, no? Without any error. Pwede rin na sumpay-sumpay kay Sabot anang si my colon is end of the statement. The JavaScript white space. So, you can put any number, any number of spaces just to make your statement readable. Okay? So, space doesn't matter here, no? So, butang ang space, pwede sa dikit ra, so that's not matter, no? But a good practice is, of course, you need uh, you need to put a space para readable siya, no? Dili siya maglibog. JavaScript line length and line breaks. So, for best readability, programmers often like to avoid code lines longer than 80 characters. No? So, if a JavaScript does not fit on one line, the best practice a place to break if it is after an operator. So, good practice is, for example, taas na kayo na siya. Di na mo igot sa imong kuan or sobra na siya sa 80 character not ne not necessary nga you, you really count the number of characters but same estimate nga medyo taas na siya in next line na, na siya and the good practice is after the operator such like this no equals equals uy wala na human so na siya sa next line okay javascript code blocks JavaScript statements can be grouped together in code blocks inside curly braces. So, there are statements like functions, you know, methods, uh, naka, naka, curly braces, naka curly braces siya. The purpose of code blocks is to define statements to be executed together. So, ayaran na siya execute kung tawagun. Then, together siya, no? Madungan na siya execute. Kung tawagun ni siyang may function nga word, anang a function? Kani sila nga mga statement ang execute. Kana sila. Kung unsay nakasulod aning curly braces. Code blocks. Okay? So, these are the JavaScript keywords which uh, you may 
not use na uh, not not acceptable no uh, not acceptable to be used as a uh, variable name kay reserve na siya no mga reserved keywords break continue debugger do while for kanang nga mga words kanang naatanan din ni eh. for complete list just click this one Yan na, ngayon sila tanan. Dili na sila nang pwede ganyan ito. Okay, naka-reserve na siya. No? Just like any other programming language, na siya yung mga reserve words. Nga dili siya pwede ganyan ito. So, the rest words, imungalan or mga kuan, pwede na nang siya ganyan ito as a words, no? A variables. Okay? So, that's all for this video. So, thank you for watching.